The M5C is the latest 3D printer from the folks at Anchor Make, but there's one big distinction between this one and pretty much every other printer out there. One button. That's right, no screen, just one button, and that's the single control on the printer itself. But more on that later. Anchor Make reached out to us here and said that they have what they believe is the ultimate beginner printer. So when they said they'd send one over to try out, I couldn't pass it up. And since it's supposedly geared toward beginners, I thought I'd do something really different with this 3D printer. I gave it to my wife. She's an elementary school media specialist who loves all things I do with our 3D printers, but she's never actually sat down and done anything with them. So I told her I would be her online search engine if she had any questions. She went through the instructions, put it together mostly by herself. There's only eight screws required and it's a pretty easy setup. I do have to say that the Anchor Make M5C is a really great looking machine. They have this whole Xbox thing going with all the green lights and coloring and I really like it. Beyond the looks, this 3D printer has some really impressive specs, especially considering they're billing this as a beginner machine. The main thing most people will want to know about is size and speed. Print size is a pretty standard 220 by 220 by 250, and it has an incredible top end print speed of 500 millimeters a second, and acceleration is 10 times that at 5,000 millimeters a second. Considering that most beginner and low cost printers top out at about 250 millimeters a second, if they're lucky, having the capability to print this fast is definitely a game changer for the beginner market. On top of that, they've included the capability to print using a 0.2 millimeter nozzle at an incredible line height of 0.05 millimeters. And that's 0.05 millimeters, which puts it in the quality realm of resin printers. I'm going to show you some of my prints using this in just a minute. A few other things to note. The M5C has an all stainless steel hot end, which allows temperatures for extruding filaments up to 300 degrees Celsius. Couple that with a build plate that can hit 100 degrees Celsius and you have a machine that can print pretty much any material out there, assuming you put it in an enclosure for materials like ABS, TPU, and others. They've done their best to make the M5C extremely easy and powerful at the same time. The slicer have precision, standard, and fast modes. There's quite a few video tutorials in both the app and on their website, and that really helps fill in the gaps for beginners needing a little more information about how to get the best prints. Well, after my wife had everything set up, the next things to do were to install the app, calibrate the bed, and make her first print, a Benchy. The first Benchy was just okay with a little few issues here and there, but you know, being the first print out of the gate, I wasn't really all that concerned. So we printed some other pre-sliced files that are in the app, but then we ran another Benchy. A lot better. Later, I ran a Benchy through the Anchor Make Slicer, and it actually printed great. I don't know exactly why the Slicer version would be better, since pre-sliced files in the app would seem like they'd be the most optimized, but my best guess is they went for speed over quality. We ran quite a few prints through the machine, and for the most part, they came out looking incredible, considering the ease of slicing and speed and printing. All of the prints were made using the standard preset settings in the slicer. This Torture Toaster by Clockspring 3D is a file I've used on nearly every printer, and the M5C did outstanding. The toast pops out, the gears move, very little in the way of stringing, and none of the pieces had to be broken free. They just worked. Using the 0.2 millimeter nozzle with the preset easy mode and precision at a 0.05 millimeter line height was both extremely cool and time consuming. This Benchy took right at three hours to print. No speed records there, but I have to say the quality is amazing. You can barely see the layer lines on the sides and even sliding my fingernail down the side barely showed any grooves. I wanted to try something a bit more organic looking and I found this Chess King. Using the 0.2 millimeter nozzle again in precision mode with 0.05 millimeter line height, it took right at two hours and 42 minutes. Again, the layer lines are practically non-existent. Then I switched over to the 0.4 millimeter nozzle in precision mode with 0.16 millimeter line height, and it knocked a whopping two hours off the time and printed at a solid 42 minutes. I'll admit the quality difference aren't mind-blowing considering the time savings, but there's a definite difference. 
If you're wanting an incredibly smooth and professional print, the time factor won't be an issue. As so many 3D printer companies seem to be doing lately, Anchor Make has their very own branded slicer. It's nice and fairly easy to get a handle on, and I think beginners will be able to grasp most of the controls fairly easily. The nicest feature of the browser, though, is being able to connect it directly to your printer. Slice, preview, print, all from one place. It would be nice to have more of this capability in the app, and they have noted on their website that slicing in the app is something they're working on. By the way, when you're done printing all the files that come pre-sliced in the app and you want to see what else is out there, be sure to check out my other video on our channel called Beyond Thingiverse. I detail a lot of websites that allow completely free downloading and printing of some really incredible models. Be sure to watch our other videos for beginners and troubleshooting and more. I have to admit to being nervous about using this printer at first. The absence of an actual screen on the printer replaced by this large play button it really threw me. But looking into what that button could do, it really surprised me there's so many useful functions they packed into it. For most people, setting a single tap to print the most recent file on the USB stick, that'll be the go-to function. But you can also set it to reprint last file, auto level, homing XYZ, and even set it to none. As my wife is going to have this at school with a lot of kids, setting that single tap to none, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> These same functions are available when you double tap or even hold the button down for three seconds. And then, once you get started printing, the button has even more uses. Single or double tap or long hold can all be set to a pause continue toggle. You can stop the print altogether or set it to none. The biggest problem I see with this is remembering what you set that button to do. I recommend making a cheat sheet on a post-it or something and stick it right next to the button. You don't want to stop your print when you meant to pause. One app, one slicer, and one really big button make the AnchorMake M5C one really great 3D printer. And though it's being touted as a beginner 3D printer, I think the specs really make it worthwhile for just about any level of user. The current price tag of $399 is most likely going to be the biggest factor for new users. Taking away the incredible speed capabilities and the 0.05 millimeter line height, there's quite a few very capable printers out there at about half that price, and they have control screens. So here's my takeaway on the AnchorMake M5C 3D printer, and I'm going to tell you the same thing I said to my wife after the first few prints came off the build plate. This really sucks. Not the printer, but the fact that I personally struggled with my first 3D printer for months and months to get just a halfway decent print, and this M5C is incredibly fast and makes great looking prints right out of the box. No bed leveling knobs, no tinkering with Z offsets, and more. It's an absolutely incredible time to get into 3D printing. Now, go forth and print something amazing. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Nils. I'm Eric. And I'm Wyatt. And this is the 3D Printing Zone.